Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Before going to the video, those who are not subscribed our channel, subscribe it and also click the bell button. In this video, we are going to see about impact diode. Impact diode is a transit time device. Transit time device means it is a high frequency device that operates at or above microwave frequencies. Impact diode is also known as read diode. It is the abbreviation of impact ionization avalanche transit time diode. It is a high power semiconductor diode used in high frequency microwave applications. This impact diode is a reverse bias diode and avalanche breakdown is the basis of its operation. This diode has negative resistance characteristics and because of that it is used as oscillators and amplifiers at microwave frequencies. The operating frequency range of the impact diode lies from 3 to 100 gigahertz. It operates on a very high voltage gradient of around 400 kilovolt per centimeter so as to produce the avalanche current. The efficiency of impact diode is usually less than 30% and it can produce continuous microwave outputs of about 3 kW. Next, let us see the construction of impact diode. The structure of this impact diode is similar to pin diode. It consists of P plus region, N region, I region and N plus region. Mainly, it consists of two regions that is the avalanche region and drift region. The avalanche region is highly doped and it has high field. The drift region is intrinsic dope and it have constant field. In the avalanche region, the avalanche multiplication occurs and in the drift region, the generator holds drift towards the contact. Materials used for the construction of impact diode are silicon, germanium, gallium arsenide, indium phosphide. But gallium arsenide is mostly preferred because of its low noise behavior. The layers of the impact diode are grown epitaxially. For high frequency operation, these layers are made very thin. The techniques used for these layers are molecular beam epitaxy or metallo-organic chemical vapor deposition. For a typical impact diode, the end layer may be 1 to 2 micrometer thick and the intrinsic layer is 2 to 20 micrometer thick. The dopants needed for the different layers are introduced using techniques like diffusion ion implantation or in situ doping during the epitaxial growth of the layer. These devices are often used in waveguide cavities which provide the resonant circuit and hence these diodes are mounted in packages that can be easily mounted into the waveguides. It generates a negative resistance area because of the effects of avalanche as well as transit time. Now let us see the operation or working of impact diode. Initially let us consider a DC bias required to cause breakdown is applied to the diode. Now an AC voltage of sufficiently large magnitude be superimposed on the DC bias. During the positive off cycle of the AC voltage that is when the voltage goes above the breakdown voltage, the electron hole velocity becomes so high that these carriers form additional holes and electrons by knocking them out of the crystal structure by impact ionization. Impact ionization means let us consider a free electron with sufficient kinetic energy gained from the applied electric field strikes a silicon atom and breaks the covalent bond and 
liberates the electrons from the bond. This process of liberation of electron from the bond is known as impact ionization. This impact ionization is a cumulative process and it takes time. It causes a phase shift of 90 degree between the applied AC voltage and the diode current. The holes produced in this avalanche breakdown rapidly reach the P plus contact but it takes part it does not take part in the process but the electrons are released into the M region. The electrons drift with their maximum velocity across the N region and current starts flowing in the external circuit which they are in transit. When this current pulse arrives at the cathode terminal, the AC voltage is at its negative peak and an additional phase shift of 90 degree is introduced between the AC voltage and the diode current. The time taken for the current pulse to reach the cathode terminal depends on the velocity and thickness of the highly doped N plus layer. Thus now voltage and current are 180 degree out of phase and a dynamic negative resistance exists. This negative resistance phenomena takes place by using the impact multiplication avalanche effect and effect of transit time to the diff region. The characteristics of negative resistance versus transit angle is shown in the figure. From the figure we can see that as the transit angle increases initially the negative resistance also increases and it reaches maximum at 5 radians and then it starts decreasing even though the transit angle increases. Then the negative resistance reaches 0 at 2 pi and then it starts increasing. Now let us see the advantages of impact diode. It has high operating range. It is compact in size. This impact diode is more economical. It gives reliable operation at high temperature. We all know that it has high power handling capacity. Next, let us see the disadvantages of impact diode. This impact diode is highly sensitive to various operating conditions. And also, in the avalanche region, the electron hole pair generation can cause high noise. The efficiency of impact diode is low, that is, it is approximately 30%. It has small tuning range. Next, let us see the applications of impact diode. First, they are used in microwave generators and microwave oscillators. They are also used in parametric amplifiers. These impact diodes found applications in microwave links, continuous wave radars, and electronic countermeasures. High quality factor impact diodes are used in police radars, low power transmitters and intrusion alarm devices. Low quality factor impact diodes are used in frequency modulator telecommunication transmitters and continuous wave Doppler radar transmitters. Next, let us see what is TRAPET. TRAPET, it is an acronym for Trapped Plasma Avalanche Triggered Transit Diode. This TRAPET diode is a microwave oscillator device with a similar structure to that of the impact diode. Its mode of operation produces relatively high power and efficiency but at a lower frequency than the device which is operated in impact mode. Now let us see the previous year's questions. First question, Trapper is used as? This question was asked in July 2016. Option A, amplifier in radars. Option B, local oscillator in radars. Option C, switch in communication system. Option D, low frequency oscillator. We know that Trapper is used as low frequency oscillator. Hence, option D is the correct answer. 
Next question. This question was asked in Jan 2017. Given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion and the other is labeled as reason. Assertion. In an impact diode for a transit angle larger than pi and approaching 3 pi by 2, the negative resistance of the diode increases rapidly. From the negative resistance versus transit angle characteristics, we know that for the angle larger than pi and approaching 3 pi by 2, the negative resistance decreases rapidly. So this statement is wrong. Next statement, impact diode consists of high doping avalanche region followed by drift region. This statement is correct. So here assertion is false but reason is true. Hence option D is the correct answer. Next question, this question was asked in Jan 2017 and July 2018. A trapper diode has the following parameters. Doping concentration is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 15 centimeter to the power minus 3. Current density is equal to 20 kilo amps per centimeter square. The avalanche zone velocity of the carriers is given by. The formula for avalanche zone velocity of carriers is given by V is equal to J divided by Q into N. J is the current density, Q is the charge of electron and Na is the doping concentration. Substituting J is equal to 20 into 10 to the power 3 and Q is equal to charge of electron 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and doping concentration as 2 into 10 to the power 15. We have the avalanche zone velocity as 6.25 into 10 to the power 7 centimeter per second. Hence option B is the correct answer. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos don't forget to subscribe our channel.